Hey guys, I've got something pretty cool to show you. So one of the biggest issues that we've I've sort of faced is how am I going to go and program all of the uh, connectivity between a control interface and the robot. So I found a fantastic app called Blink, which is literally an app that you get off the App Store. And it allows you to sort of um, uh, drag and drop components onto your control system here. And... Um, when you've uh, when you've dropped the component on, you can bind it to virtual pins and things like that. And you can tell it, you know, uh, how you want those pins to behave and how you want the sort of the control interface to work. So these will, you know, these sliders will slide between values of zero and um, uh, 180, I believe. And like a button down here that will turn on and turn off. It's bound to um, GP25 and things like that. So um, all I had to do was install a library on the ESP32 uh, and then um, give it some basic credentials like Wi-Fi credentials and a, a unique key that's bound between the two and if I run this app I can now very cool Oops. You know, we can smooth it out with some averaging and stuff. It's only sending pulses every 100 milliseconds or so, so it's not particularly fast, but it's fantastic to at least get the thing going. You know, one day when I've got all the time in the world, I can write my own app and my own control mechanism, but, um, you know, this is just this LED triggering it on and off there. So, yeah, very cool. Moving forward.